Hi everybody, Hanman here from PKF in Alberton. We are talking carbon tax today. So I'm not a specialist. Lindy is, is with our audit department here in Alberton and we are going to discuss the logistics behind how to comply with a new carbon tax, who is going to be affected by it, and importantly, how much it's going to cost. So I'm just going to start with a general statement just to make sure that I don't miss something. The president signed the Carbon Tax Act into law, which was effective in 1 June 2019. Now, what they did along with this tax is they issued a, a schedule to give guidance to the taxpayer. This schedule is called Schedule 2, Schedule 2 of the Carbon Tax Act, which taxpayers' activities are liable for carbon tax. The schedule also says the thresholds for carbon tax liability. Carbon tax will be levied on the sum of greenhouse gas emissions emissions from fuel combustion, industrial processes and fugitive emissions, determined in accordance with the reporting methodology approved by the Department of Environmental Affairs. Okay, so just to make a bit of more sense of this, I'm just going to have a chat with Lindy and just, just get a bit more clarity to, to help you as a taxpayer to start guiding you in terms of how you comply with this. So the most important question, Lindy, is just who's going to pay carbon tax? broad terms? Uh, so it would be your primary emitters of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Um, in simple terms, if your business uh, activity directly emits any carbon dioxide or any other greenhouse um, gases, you will be taxed on the carbon claim equivalent. Okay, so from a compliance side, my first question is going to be, what do I as a taxpayer then do in order to declare this tax? Does this work like my normal company tax return? Does it go onto my annual company tax submission or how do I go about declaring that? So you will have to register at your local sales office um, in terms of the Carbon and Excise uh, Tax Act and you would then um, need to complete a form DA180 for every registered licensed emission um, emissions generation facility you have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, the, so, so it's a mouthful, but just help me understand again. So this is a separate tax. This doesn't go in with my other tax returns in terms of paying corporate taxes or, or, or my VAT return or anything else around that. You're saying that this is a separate declaration and I actually need to register my company for this tax separately. Am I understanding correctly? Yes, it is a separate uh, registration, separate tax. And even though you fall below the threshold in terms of the act, you still need to register and submit a zero return. Okay, sorry, that's an important point. So you're saying that it could be that I'm not liable for this tax, but if I am an emitter in terms of everything that is listed in the Act, I still have to submit a return. Am I understanding correct? Yes, yes, you still have to submit a return. Okay, next question, when do I, set these, uh, when do I submit these returns? So the Carbon tax, um, came, tax Act came effective from the 1st of June 2019. Yep. The first returns were um, would have been uh, due by July 2020, but we got extension until the end of October 2020. That will be for your period running from June 2019 to December 2019, and then the subsequent periods from there onwards would be from January to December. Okay, but hang on. I, I'm used to, if I do my company tax return, I'm used to, for instance, having a, a company um, financial period that ends for argument's sake at 28 February. So my financial statements start from 1 March and they run up to 28 February each year. Are, are you saying that doesn't matter? Yes, it doesn't matter. The period is from, from January to December as this will not have an effect on your actual company figures. It's based on the um, carbon tax equivalent that's emitted. Okay. And Got it. And then in terms of my first return, so you're saying that the first period, when did I need to start measuring this? Does it mean if you're saying June is the first submission, I start my, my, my liability then? Or do I start measuring it on the first date that they declared? I think you said middle of June or beginning of June 2019? Yeah, so the beginning of June 2019 is when you had to start measuring your, your carbon tax um, liability. Okay, so for companies who potentially need to pay carbon tax or even the ones which don't need to pay, you're saying that they should have already put systems in place in order to comply in terms of getting getting that information available for their returns? Yes. Okay. Um, but then you also mentioned there's an extension. Uh, just, just explain what the time periods are there. There's a three-month extension, so where you would have needed to submit by July 2020, you now only need to submit October 2020. Okay, a million dollar question, how much is it? How, how much carbon tax do we, do we pay? I understand that the, the answer is probably quite a complex one, but, but, but if you could just give us a high level idea. So currently it's on a, based on 120 rand per carbon tax um, equivalent, less certain allowances. Okay, I have here, now that you were talking, you explained to me briefly beforehand that how the schedule works is the Act guides us as to the different types of gases or the different types of emissions and then those are converted by way of formulas to the so-called carbon tax equivalent. So we're not only talking about somebody specifically emitting carbon or carbon, carbon dioxide. 
it is it is just a, a term that's being used and that is linked to any kind of greenhouse gases. Am I understanding correctly? Yes, yes. So other greenhouse gases would also be converted to a carbon tax equivalent with um, certain formulas within the Act. How complex is this? Complex. Okay. So, so this is not something that I could do quickly on, on, on the backs of a, of a matchbox. I'm assuming there, there's some relatively complex formulas behind all of these calculations. The formulas are quite complex, but the tax, do, the tax act do guide you on what they require of you um, and what the, the input should be. Okay, so the message is, um, you know, t talk to a specialist is, is what it comes down to. Yeah, talk to a specialist, but it is doable. Okay, understood. Okay, guys, that's it from us um, on carbon taxes. So with regards to you and managing your risk and your compliance um, from your company's perspective, we recommend contact your local auditor, contact your local tax partner within that auditor. PKF has specialists on board like, like Lindy, who is able to guide you um, through the process. So please be aware that it could be that, that you currently need to comply to this act and you're not aware of it. So we invite you to contact us uh, to discuss that.